Uh, Ray Proc, National Dairy Board Treasurer. All right, can you tell me a little bit about the Fuel Up to Play 60 campaign? Uh, the Fuel Up to Play 60 campaign is a health and wellness program uh, brought to the schools by America's dairy farmers. And this year we're going to partner with the California Milk Advisory Board and launch the program in California. Currently it's in 73,000 schools nationwide, uh, but we want to expand the footprint in California and bring this health and wellness and a leadership program to California for California students. And how is it that the dairy industry is involved with that? Uh, the dairy industry is involved. We do a lot of the uh, background work in the different rewards and bringing different money to the program for grants, whether it's improving school breakfasts, uh, the leadership aspect. Every school can have an ambassador, and then each state has an ambassador selected to go to a student ambassador program where they learn leadership skills and learn how to better the program. Uh, that's how the dairy farmers are involved in bat bringing the money to the table to help the program succeed. As we all know, today's education system is challenged for funds. Uh, this is a way where we can augment the funds that they do have available by bringing dairy farmers and other partners together, uh, such as the NFL and partners like McDonald's, uh, SAP, a big software company just made a huge donation, uh, a $3 million donation with a million over the next three years, uh, different partners and assimilating that money together to help the school systems today survive. And why do you think this is an important program? I think it's an important program because it shows the students that they're, they can lead themselves. It's actually a student-led program where they can work and improve their own schools. And that's where you get that buy-in because they become proud of it. I was able to witness uh, a few years ago a mother stand up and attribute this program to saving her son's life. She said that her son was bullied in school until he became a leader through this program. And through this program, he became a leader and was looked up to and was no longer bullied. And this is a student in an inner city Chicago school. And I'm a big gruff dairy farmer and it hit my heart too. Having her stand up and single-handedly say this program alone saved her son's life. I can see that that really meant a lot to you. It, it did. I mean, seeing that, that, seeing the other student ambassadors that we have on the national level work with the program. We also have a program called ADCAP where it's Adventure Capital where they're actually working with Howard Buffett to give students business uh, that have business ideas and entrepreneurial uh, spirit the ability to see those projects through within the school and they can win, I believe it's $5,000 grant for their school to take the project and move it forward, whether it's solid bars, uh, solid carts, uh, different clubs, and they can actually compete much like Shark Tank or one of those uh, business shows with Howard Buffett and other business provider or business uh, leaders to see who has the best ideas. That sounds like a lot of fun, and in addition to being educational and, and good for the community. Right, it's kind of bringing some of that fun back to school, but at the same time it has an educational aspect. Uh, the big thing is the health and wellness, getting kids more active, because as we know, getting kids more active, their cognitive thinking ability rises, and they can actually become better students. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.